Hey guys, my name is Nathan. You're watching Robot Masters, your friendly robot personnel. Today, in front of me, I got three cool robots the Roblox S6, the Roomba i7, and we got the Neato D7. Now, have you ever asked yourself, hey, how does these smart robots perform when you just select an area? Do they go outside their boundaries? Do they get lost? Do they explode? Well, today I'm going to test three of the most popular robots in a area clean mode and we'll see if they knock over these cool upside down iced tea bottles. So stay tuned. And also, I have a bonus round which I'll show you at the very end of the footage. So stay tuned to the very end because I got a cool robot that has a trick up its sleeve which will impress all you guys. So let's get started. Okay, so all three robots can do a area clean fairly well. Now I'm going to add a challenge. Instead of having the robot just do a single area, I'm going to actually have the robot do two areas. You can see highlighted in blue, and it actually has to go around uh, the other way to get to the other area as highlighted. So both the i7 and Roborock will start in one position, and the D7 will start in another area, but they'll both have the same obstacle challenge. Okay, let's go ahead and get this test started. I'm going to start with the Roborock S6. Okay, so the Roblox S6 is probably one of my smartest robot vacuums I have. It has a very efficient cleaning algorithm. It starts with the perimeter first, and then it will fill in that perimeter with a back and forth cleaning pattern. This is pretty efficient for area cleaning. And you notice that it does not hit the green tea bottles. Um, you can also play with the perimeter just to get them up close to the tea bottles if you have a very delicate object. But it's pretty accurate with the LiDAR sensor. You can um, get pretty close to the tea bottles without actually hitting the tea bottles. I do have a special video of a robot vacuum that does this very precisely. So make sure you watch the entire video because I'm going to put the bonus round at the very end. And this is a treat for watching this entire video. And I think it's really cool that this new robot I got outbeats the Roblox S6 in the area cleaning. But I'll hold up my excitement and continue with the Roblox S6. Okay, the Roblox S6 finished the first area, and it's going to go and loop around and do the second area. So this is the main reason why I set the tea bottles like this, so it forces the robot to have to take an alternate long path around to get to the other area, and the Roblox does this no problem. Now it's going to go back and recharge. No problem with the Roblox S6. Okay, so next lineup we have is the Roomba i7. Okay, Roomba i7, let's see what you made out of. Okay, it's just very similar. Um, the highlighted in blue is the areas. Uh, one thing to note is the layout is slightly different. Um, Roomba has a different way of setting up boundaries, so I couldn't do exactly how the Roblox S6 is, but it's the same concept. It will do two areas, and it will have to loop around to get to the secondary area. Okay, let's see how well the i7 does. One thing to note is the Roomba S9 and the Bravo M6 has not got its keep out zone or area clean so I could not test those robots but once they come out I will definitely test that feature. Now the line in blue also represents this is part of the entryway, but the i7 decided to completely ignore this and keep going to the secondary area. So I like to film all my tests live, so if there is an error, I do not try to edit it out unless it's a complete failure. But this is just an example of the i7 completely ignoring one of the areas and just going on to do the second area. I have noticed that the i7 will get confused easily if you have more than a couple keep out zones 
So I think iRobot is still working on these. Also, the i7 doesn't officially have an area clean mode. It ha does have a room select, and that's what I'm kind of using, is I'm using a combination of the room select and keep out to create my own virtual area where the robot should clean. Um, so out of the three robots right now, the i7 will perform the worst. It does get confused the easiest if you have more than a couple keep out or room select areas. But for the most part, you just have to play with it. Like I said before, um, you notice how far away the Roomba is keeping away from the bottles. This is probably due to how far away my areas are. I would have to bring them in closer, but this is all up to the user, how close or how far away you want the robot to uh, get to the area you don't want it to get to. Okay, the i7 is done, highlighted in blue. So keep in mind that the Neo D7 and Roblox S6 use LiDAR systems, which are more precise than the iRobot's 3.0 iAdapt vision system. So if you are trying to get very close to the water bottles, the robot may overshoot. So I would try to keep a little distance so the robot doesn't accidentally overshoot and hit the delicate object. Uh, iRobot also provides a portable device called the Lighthouse. It basically is a unit that takes two AA batteries. You could create a halo or a line straight across to avoid the robot entering that area. It's great for dog bowls and other delicate areas. Last up is the Needle D7. It's a little different. Instead of drawing out squares or rectangles, you actually draw little lines. This is a cool feature because you could actually draw a bunch of little lines and have it kind of follow a path. It's very precise. So I'm gonna go ahead and create the two areas, one off to the left and one off to the right. I'm gonna create a box so the robot's forced to go around the two areas. I'm basically creating a virtual square like I did with the Roblox S6 and Roblox S9. Okay, let's see what the D7's all about. So the D7 is very similar to the Roblox S6. It starts out with the perimeter sweep and then it fills in that area with the back and forth cleaning pattern. Now, keep in mind, I'm gonna double check the i7 and I did notice that the boxes are right against the edges of the doors. So it is accurate like the other robots. I just think the i7 does leave additional space. But let's go ahead and just focus on the D7 for now. Uh, I do have it set to do both areas, the one here and one off to the left. But unfortunately, the D7 gets confused and just does this single area like on the i7. So in conclusion, the Roblox S6 was the only one that was able to do both areas. Okay, we got round two. This is a little bit different obstacle. Instead of just having the robot do a loop around, it's actually going to be in the same area. But I created a box, so we'll see if these robots can avoid the boxed in areas as indicated by the tea bottles and just clean both this area and the one next to the door in the far back there. So I suspect that the S6 will do the best. Um, if you're looking for a very precise area clean machine, then get the Roblox S6 or even the Roblox S5. So here's the i7. It looks like the i7 decided to redeem itself and it did a lot better on this test. It was able to cover both areas this time. One unique thing about the i7 is it does a little bit different cleaning pattern. It starts out with a back and forth cleaning pattern and then it will fill in that area with its perimeter sweep last. So if you like these types of testings and these comparisons, please smash the like button. It helps me gauge that this is a popular video or not. I also have a lot of different testings in the pipeline. I got a threshold test. I got a uh, black rug test. I got a night test. Still in the works on that. My smartphone doesn't film too well at night, so I might have to look into getting a thermal camera or something. But I'm still looking into that. Okay, so last in the lineup is the D7. It decided to redeem itself, like on the i7. It went ahead and did the alternate route around and was able to get both areas, no problem. So this last test was kind of hard to tell which robot did better. It looks like the Needle D7 covered most of the areas, did a pretty good back and forth cleaning pattern. It went back and forth a couple times, but it seemed like it covered the most area. I don't know, what do you guys think? Who won this last test? Okay, hold on, the bonus round is coming right up. 
Okay guys, here's the moment you've been waiting for. A new robot I just got. It beats out the Roblox S6 in terms of smartness. Yes, the S6 is no longer the top dog. This is a no-name robot vacuum, which I will not reveal the name yet. I'll let you guys guess to see which robot vacuum this one is. But check out this new area clean mode that this robot vacuum can do. None of my other robot vacuums has the capabilities or accuracy of performing this navigation test. So enjoy and watch. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel because I do all these awesome videos. I do very unique videos. I have stuffed animals. I ride Barbie doll cars. I do crazy stuff just for your entertainment purposes and also for you guys to learn something about cool robots. So enjoy this last video and have a great rest of your day. Charging. 